Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Real Real Update for the month of September in 2019. Yes, it is just me alone today, because whenever I do Real Real videos, it's just me. I'm mainly the one that does the Real Real. Ryan definitely dabbles in it, but certainly not as much as me. So I like to give you guys an update on what the Real Real took from me for the month and what they sold so that if you use the Real Real or plan on using the Real Real, you'll know what to send them and what they will take. As usual, some of these items are not on their designer list. If you know the Real Real, you know they have a designer list of things they take 100% of the time, but you can get away with sending them things that aren't on that list and as usual, I will link below the video of where I teach you how to do that and how to get away with that. Also, if they don't take your stuff, just try sending it in a few times. They will. But yes, let's just jump into it. Like I said, this is for September 2019, and I do these videos on about the 14th or 15th or around there because they pay out on the 15th of every month. So that's when you know that the things that are sold are not gonna be returned and are basically finalized. Let's begin. First off, I will start with the items that they accepted in September. Some of these might have already sold, we'll see. The first item that they accepted from me in the month of September is this Max Mara Wool Blend Double Breasted Blade. Also, if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my phone at the Real Real app so that I can give you the information. <laughs> this they priced at 325. That's pretty insane. They mark Max Mara up and sometimes down. Like I've sent them almost the exact same thing once, and they marked it at 95. So I'm excited about that price. That has not sold yet, though. I think I got it at a thrift store. This next thing is a Burberry Wool Blend Notch Lapel Overcoat. This was from some online arbitrage. I bought it online to resell and this is priced at $2.45. That's pretty good. It's a huge coat. It's an XL, but I put it on, to me, it seemed even bigger than an XL. I'm okay with that price. That's pretty good. That means that I will get 70% of that. Anything they price over 200 bucks, I believe I get 70%. This Victoria Beckham knit sleeveless top, this they priced at 80. Now, you know Victoria Beckham is like insanely expensive, so I kind of thought they'd price this higher. It's also just like a basic white ribbed tank top, so meh, I'll take it. Probably wouldn't be able to sell that myself. Um, this you might recognize. It was on my Instagram, my Poshmark Thriftstagram, and it's this Christian Dior Notch Lapel Long Coat, and this was an XXL. This was pretty big as well. This was from the Bins. The Bins. And they mark this at $4.95. They are so picky with Christian Dior for some reason. Like sometimes they act like it's not on their list when actually it is. And then when they do end up taking it, they always mark it way up. So I am totally okay with $4.95. Hasn't sold yet, but I bet it will decently soon because of the season. This Christian Dior textured knit sweater. This they marked at $1.40. Same thing, it's just a sweater, but they marked it that high because they always do. Lafayette, $1.48. I tried to say this name before and someone like corrected me. I don't know how to say this. Batau? Batau? I don't know. Um, it's the fancy way to say boat neck. Boat neck, midi length dress, and this they marked at 95 bucks. I think it had some pilling and stuff throughout, so that's fine. They don't really mark Lafayette 148 too high, so if you think you could sell it for a decent amount or it would move quick for you, I would totally just try to sell it yourself. This Vera Wang barricade knee length dress with tags, new with tags, and so they marked it at 155. Vera Wang, not simply Vera Vera Wang, is extremely expensive, like dresses and formal wear. If I find it, I always send it to them because I don't really do well selling like formal dresses and all that kind of stuff. This Andrew Mark leather shoulder bag, they marked it only 50. This is literally like as flat as a pancake and very old style. So I kind of expected that price. I got it for like three bucks at a thrift store. That's okay with me. And another Vera Wang barricade knee length dress. And this one was not new with tag. From the same place though. And this one actually had a decent amount of wear to it. So I didn't expect it to be as high as the other one. And yeah, they only priced it at 80, but I'm okay with that. This Ralph Lauren black label vest. This is a down vest and it has like leather, lamb leather detail on it. They actually only priced it at 145. You know, this probably retailed at like 1,500. Ralph Lauren black label and purple label are crazy expensive. So if you ever see them, get them. The real real takes them. That's probably where I would always send it. Shockingly, they took this pair of Nike court low sneakers. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> 
Like, it's just Nike. But I had seen Nike on their site a couple times, so literally, just for the heck of it, I was like, let me try sending some in and see if they take it. And they did. So that's pretty awesome. They marked it at 65 for some reason. These are really cute. They weren't getting any attention for me, so I was like, take them off my hands then. Fendi Vintage Zucchino, Zucchino, that's whatever their signature's called, is that Fendi Zucchino? I don't know. CD case, they marked at 125 Obviously, I don't think I can sell a CD case on Poshmark. Maybe I could have on eBay or something. I thought I'd send it to them. They marked it at 125 and Fendi on the Real Real, I'm sure, will sell really quick. They actually haven't marked it for sale yet, so we'll see. The North Face Fleece Zip Jacket. This I almost kept for myself. I have a ton of jackets. I don't need this. They marked it at 65 which is totally fine. I get all my North Face at the bins. I do not buy it in store, unless maybe it was a down coat, then I would. Emilio Pucci crocheted midi dress. This I have sent into them three times now. This was the third time and they've marked it at 225 every single time. It just keeps dropping below like a hundred and I don't really want it to sell that low so Every time it gets to about 100, I take it back and give it back to them, and they always take it. This Carmen Mark Volvo leather over-the-knee pair of boots was marked at 145. This is not on their list, so I had to send it in, I think, three times, but they ended up taking them, and they... <laughs> They already sold, you'll see. Allegri Double Breasted Trench Coat. This was in the bins, and I actually didn't know this brand, but I really like trench coats and really all coats, and so when I find them in the bins and it's a brand I don't know, I always Google them, and they said made in Italy, which is always a good sign. And yeah, Allegri is apparently really expensive, and they had some on their site. Again, this is not on their list, and so see that video to see how I got that done. They priced this at $2.95. I had to send it in two times. You usually have to try a couple times when it's stuff not on the designer list. But $2.95 at the bins, it probably cost me three bucks. That's awesome. The North Face Girls Fleece Zip Up Jacket. This was priced at 45 bucks. It's a girls. I actually didn't know that, I don't think, when I found it. But again, I always get North Face fleece at the bins and they like always take it. So that's totally okay with me. AGL Suede Cap Toe Flats. They do not always take AGL. It is not on their list, but I've gotten them to take it twice now. There's no picture with this yet because it's not listed or photographed yet. I don't know why. They've actually had it for a little while. They also have no price, so I have no info on this, but I couldn't sell it, so whatever they do with it, I will let them have that. Saks Fifth Avenue Belted Long Coat. <sighs> I sent this into them literally like 12 times. Finally, they took it. So definitely do not buy Saks Fifth Avenue just to send it to them. Set the bins, maybe give it a shot. Just don't get it specifically to send to them. It's so rare that they take it, but they do every once in a while. If you've seen my other Real Real videos, you'll see that they've taken some from me before. And then they take it and they market it $310. How do you go from like, we don't want this, to, okay, we want it, and we're gonna mark it way up. I don't know. Totally okay with that price. I knew if I kept sending it to them, they would take it. This was also from the bins, so that's awesome. And the final thing that they took from me this month was this North Face Wool Blend Mock Neck Sweater. Again, the bins, they priced it at $60, and... That's okay with me. So now let's move on to the good part. What sold at the Real Real for me for the month of September 2019. The first thing that sold was this pair of Miu Miu embellished leather sandals. These I actually did online arbitrage to get and they ended up selling for a hundred bucks. That was 20% off and so I got 50, I think. In the end, I paid about 12, so that's pretty good. Alice and Olivia, lightweight wool cardigan. This, I believe was a bins find. And the person got 25% off, so they paid $41.25, and that gave me $16.50. If it's a bins find, that's fine. <laughs> this Sarah Pacini sleeveless open knit tank. This was a bins find. I didn't know this brand, but it said made in Italy, so I Googled it. I always Google made in Italy, made in France, whatever stuff. And they had had a few of them before, and they took mine after, I think, a, like five tries. They didn't have much of it, so I honestly didn't know if they were ever going to take this from me, but it ended up selling for only 25 and gave me 10 but you know this would have cost, like, nothing at the bins, so. Mark by Mark Jacobs, lightweight knit cardigan. This was from a thrift store for probably about almost 10 bucks. 
and it only sold for $32.50 and gave me $13. So that was not the best profit for sure. Valentino Vintage Wool High Rise Pants. These were at the bins. Good bins find. I have never found Valentino besides this. Actually, no. One time at a Goodwill boutique, I found a Valentino tote and it sold in like a week. But this sold for $116. The person got 20% off and gave me $46.40. This Parker Sequined Evening Jacket. Like we said in our Bolo video, Parker is really expensive. This they took from me and priced at $125 but the person got 50% off and they paid $62.50 and I earned $25. Tory Burch sleeveless scoop neck tank. This had like sequins all over it and stuff. I got this at a really cheap clearance sale at a consignment store. I think it was maybe like four bucks and it sold for $22.50 in the end and I got $11.25. Once again, not the biggest profit. It was kind of too ugly for me to be able to sell on Posh even though Tory Burch does so good on Posh. I just sent it to them. They always take Tory if you have any that's not doing too well for you. This Millie silk crop top, this sold for 40 and I got 16. I know that I paid $3 for this, so I'll take that. Helmet Lang sleeveless knee length dress, this sold for 52 and gave me 2080. This sold lightning quick once they listed it. I don't know why. It's kind of boring in my opinion. That's why I didn't put it on Posh because it's kind of boring. I probably paid about six, seven bucks for that. Bruno Magli leather dress loafers. These sold for 60 bucks and gave me 24. This was a bins fine, so I probably paid two bucks. So that's a decent one. All Saints low rise skinny jeans. I had had these for a century and a half on Poshmark and for some reason they just would not move. So I sent them in, they sold for 40 and gave me 16. I don't know how much I paid way back in the day, probably around 10. I surprisingly remember the store that I got them from but not the price. Christian Dior vintage striped shirt. They had this as women's. I found it in the men's section at a Goodwill. I don't know the button trick, like what side means it's men's and what side means it's woman's. So I don't know who got it right, Goodwill or them, but this sold for $108.75 and gave me $54.38. That's pretty good. I think I paid like six. Millie Italian Ombre Tunic with Tags. I know I paid 20 for this. Don't know why. I never, ever, ever would do that nowadays. It was new with tags, but no. And that sold for 45 and gave me 18 So I actually lost money on that one. Christian Dior Dior Simo Canvas Tote. This they priced at $4.95, which was a really good price. But it had been up for a while, and so the person got half off and paid $247.50. And I actually got 70% of that, though, because it was over 200 bucks, And so I got $173.25. I'm still happy with that. That was another online arbitrage thing, and I think I paid probably like $45 or $50 for it. MIH Jeans Casablanca Mid mid-rise jeans. These are actually a pair of anthropology jeans. I didn't know that until after I sent them in. I still would have sent them in anyways. They were like velour, like flare leg. They were just not great. And they were at the bins. The person paid 20 and I got 10. Still profit. It's fine with me. Like it was at the bins, so I don't really care what it sells for if it was at the bins. Elizabeth and James sleeveless print dress with tags. This they only priced at 50, which is ridiculous. It had the tags on, like I said, and it was like 300 bucks retail. The person paid 37.50 and I got 15. I think I paid 15 or 20, so I either broke even or lost money on that one. Escada double-breasted structured blazer. This is really cute, especially because oversized blazers are extremely in. I honestly probably should have kept this and tried to sell it, but I sent it in and I think I paid eight bucks and the person ended up paying 56 and I got 22.40, so at least I still made some money. Gucci suede knee-high boots. These were another online arbitrage situation. The person ended up paying 260 for them and I got 182. I think I paid like 35. So that's a really good one. Rebecca Taylor side contrast mid pants with tags. Again, new with tags. I think this is from a TJ Maxx. They retailed it like between three and 400 bucks and the person paid 48 bucks and I got 1920. I think I paid 20. So I lost 80 cents and they had to sit in my house for like a century because I had them listed forever. All Saints scoop neck sleeveless top this was priced at 60 bucks. The person got 20% off and paid 48. And I got 19.20. This was six or seven dollars at a consignment store. So I will take that. D squared mid rise straight leg jeans. You might be recognizing some of this stuff was literally sent in and accepted last month. Stuff moves pretty quick on the real real. So don't always make 
like the most you could, but certainly it's a quick way to get stuff out and have it sell pretty fast. The person paid $37.50 for and I got $15. I paid like six. Burberry suede cap toe Oxfords. These were from online arbitrage. The person paid $105 and I got $52.50. I paid $25, so I doubled my money. Issa silk midi dress. I didn't know this brand. I think this was at the bins and I googled it and apparently it's something that like Kate Middleton wears all the time. Really expensive. Person paid $112.50 and I got $78.75. So that's pretty awesome. Todd's metallic leather sandals. Again, a bins find. They paid $51 and I got $20.40. I'll take it for a bins find. Obermeyer mock neck knit sweater. This was another bins find. This again, I probably should have sold myself. It's so cute. This I know I sent in last month. The person paid $64 bucks and I got $25.60. I'll take that for a bins fine though. Acris Punto lightweight blazer jacket. The person paid $48 bucks and I got $19.20. I think I paid seven or eight. So I still doubled my money, which I am all here for. Alice and Olivia long sleeve mini dress. This one I'm not too sure on what I paid. I might have paid up but the most I would have ever paid is 20. The person paid 52 and I got 2080. So the most I would have paid is 20. Worst case scenario, I would have broke even. Mark by Marc Jacobs Silk and Cashmere Blend Cardigan. This was from the bins and the person paid 40 and I got 16. I'll take it for a bins find. NSF long sleeve crew neck sweater. Paid 27.50 and I got 11. This I think I paid six or seven for. Not the best profit. C by Chloe wool long coat. This. I probably could have sold myself. I almost actually kept it for myself way back. I posted a picture of me in it onto my Instagram. They paid 118 for and I got 8260. I do know that I paid 20 bucks for this. I would do it over again. See by Chloe so expensive, especially this long bougie type coat. This probably retailed at like eight or nine hundred dollars. And last, but actually least <laughs> is this rag and bone printed mid-rise pant they spent $16.50 on and I got $8.25. That is from one of the first times I ever sent anything into the real real print. Jeans are just not in unless they're camo probably. Hopefully you kind of enjoyed this video. I know they're not the most exciting, but I know some of you want to try the real real or are doing the real real, want to see what brands they take and stuff like that. So I know that it helps some of you. I've had multiple people tell me that it helps them. So I am continuing to do these. If you don't want to see them, just don't watch them, I guess. Ryan will be back in the Thursday video. And I think that we're going to do a meet the poshers video because my channel, the trailer for my channel is still just me from like two years ago go telling my story so we want to redo that and do one where we tell both of our stories so look forward to that and then we will have a what sold saturday coming this saturday so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them and turn on notifications so you know when they're uploaded we should probably premiere the what sold saturday we always like premiering them because then we can talk to you guys so yes be sure to turn notifications so you don't miss that thank you for watching toodaloo <laughs>